Hi guys, so this is Sheila uh, Baronet. This is Cardio Fitness in Beverwijk. Uh, I'm an IFBB pro and I'm checking today for, your, for my workout. Uh, we're going to train glutes. I really like to start with the um, hip uh, abductor. This is a standing one. Uh, you also have the seated one. This is my favorite actually, because uh, it really targets my, uh, the side of my glutes. The position is very important, so your back has to be kind of locked. And that's how you're gonna target like uh, really the muscle on the side. You kind of sit it. And what I like to do, I like to pause. So I have max contraction on my side. I like to do the movements very slowly for a better muscle connection. And when I feel I can't do it anymore, then I do extra more. So what I mean with extra more, it means higher repetitions. So when, if I'm doing the movement slowly, yes? So let's say I do 10 times, and I know I'm feeling tired, then I push myself harder, and I do it quick, faster. That's what I mean by extra more. That takes my muscle to the exhaustion, and I know I'm really working out that muscle group. And when I finish this one, I really like to do the kickbacks. I'll take you out uh, to this one. Put yourself in a position. Your back has to be always locked here, as you can see. And the only movement is by your glutes. And when you hit, you kind of flex it and dance it. So the first 10 reps, I do it very slowly so I can feel the max contraction to make myself exhausted. Uh, the last 10, I do it very fast. The reason why is like because I like to feel the max pump and have the feeling that I'm really working on, on the muscle. Then we do the other side of the glute. So like I said, the first 10 reps, I do it slowly for a better muscle-mind connection. It works for me. So the slower I do, the better contraction and muscle-mind connection I have to make myself exhausted in the sense of, okay, I'm really pushing myself on, the, on this workout. Then the last, I do it fast. And that will give you a very good glute pump. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I really like this machine. So next, uh, we're gonna do some good mornings. Uh, we're gonna use the hack squat. It's my favorite, uh, actually, for to do the, the good mornings in a good position. So you always need to make sure that your feet are in the same position as your shoulders. Shoulder width. <laughs> Your back is always straight and locked. You're gonna bend over with your leg slightly bended and push forward. And this exercise, I usually do 15 reps, four sets. In this one, I never put too much weight. I like to do uh, less weight and higher reps. And I, I just feel better the, the, the muscle group where you have to really target is the lower side of your glute and the, just the beginning of your hamstrings. Uh, so if you start feeling a little bit beneath, that means you're not doing the exercise very right. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna do a, um, another set on, uh, 
Good mornings. What I'd like to mention is that I, on this exercise, I prefer low loaded, so not too, high, too heavy weight. I like to feel the contraction, so I do slower movements, therefore less weight. You have a way better contraction if you don't overload uh, with a lot of weight. Uh, so the, the less weight you have, the better muscle connection you have. So I try to do 15 repetitions on this one four sets. Uh, so I'm pretty much warmed up. Uh, the next exercise I like to do a, a, a compound movement. We're going to do a sumo exercise in the in this new machine that they, did, they just installed it and we're going to start again with the 10 repetitions. Always very slow movement. Make sure your back is always straight. You make a pause when you go down and you contract your glute. So on this one, I like to go heavy. I like to load a little bit. Uh, the reason why I feel better contraction on this one, because it's like sumo squat. I, I'm quite powerful on my lower legs actually, and uh, I like to put more weight. Uh, I feel a better muscle mind connection when I have a loader uh, weight rather than uh, less less weight uh, like we did on the hamstrings <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i love it i love this heavy exercise <laughs> so the reason why i feel like a little girl <laughs> working out and that i feel exhausted is because i haven't really done a proper workout for the past month and a half or so and now we're filming this content for you, which I have to do the exercise. And I am tired. Uh, I did load, so I did put some quite heavy weights on this one to try actually the machine, because it's a very good machine here in the Cardio Fitness Beber Bike. Um, but yeah, so that's the reason why I feel so fatigued. The next exercise I'm going to show you is um, to target the glute maximums. Uh, that's one of my weak points uh, in my glutes. Uh, during my whole workout, I, I try to target the, the whole glute muscle, but I try to put focus, which is in the, 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 the last workout because I'm more tired. Uh, it, does, it, it just makes me feel like, okay, I did push myself, I did my best. And I know I have to improve this area, so I'm going to leave it to, for the last, just so I put more focus that's just a mindset. Um, I'm going to show you to it the exercise now. Okay, so the reason why I choose the, the curved bar for this exercise is because it gets into uh, between your, your, uh, your knees here. Your hip really needs to be touching uh, the bench. You put yourself in a position like that kind of hold yourself whatever you feel more comfortable. I like to hold it always on the bench. And then you perform the exercise and you hold it up a few seconds. You come down. You hold it tense for a few sets of seconds. Come down. So 
So this exercise I like to perform at least 15 reps. Uh, what I like to do on this one is a drop set. So I usually I try to start the max weight and then go a lower, still increasing the reps. Uh, try to vary as much as you can. Uh, so now I did 15 reps, uh, the same weight. Uh, if I would like to push myself a little bit harder, I like to increase the weight, let's say 20 uh, kilos. I do 10 reps, then I drop the weight and I do 15 reps and so on and so on. So now I perform the exercise with the bench uh, flat. You can also try to put it uh, one up. So if you do it a little bit like this, you will see that I will be targeting the muscle differently because I will have more space and my tension will be higher. Okay guys, it's a wrap. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. Stay safe, take care, bye-bye.